Today we are going to make some cute Halloween pumpkins. Um, so for this craft, what you'll need is a pair of tube socks, some embroidery thread, some regular thread and a needle, a pair of fabric scissors. I picked up some uh, twigs in the yard, uh, some rice, and some polyfill fiber and some felt. I also happen to have these uh, little cookie cutters that are in leaf shape, so I'm gonna use these. But if you don't have these, you can just go online, get a picture of a leaf, uh, reduce the size to the size that you want, print it out on your printer, and then trace it to a piece of cardboard, and you can use it that way. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, and by the way, everything here, the rice, the socks, um, were all bought at the dollar store. So it's a really inexpensive craft to make. So one sock I have, I'm cutting the red off the top. That'll make one pumpkin in the red. So I just cut right along the line. And then I just folded my sock in half and made it into two. So with one pair of socks, you will get to make two gray pumpkins and two, I mean, four gray pumpkins and two red pumpkins. So that's a decent amount of pumpkins. Okay, this sock is already sewed on the end. So I'm not going to show you how to make this sock, but basically you'd follow the same steps, only you wouldn't sew the bottom because it's already sewn for you. So the first thing you want to do is turn your sock inside out and just take one end and take a needle and thread and you just want to weave it through the sock going straight across leaving enough room try to get them together as much as possible this is going to be the bottom of your uh, pumpkin so you don't want to leave too much room but just enough room that it's not going to uh, come through so just weave that all the way across. You can do halfway or you can weave it all the way if you want. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just the base of your sock and it's inside so nobody's gonna see it. So once you get all the way across, you wanna pull it as tight as you can and bunch it up. And then I just wrap it around a couple times to make it really tight. And then I just hold it and put a knot in it. And then I just cut my thread off and then I knot it two more times just to make sure it's secure. Okay, after you're done sewing your base, you want to turn that sock back to the good side. And I use about one fourth cup of rice. You wanna put that in the bottom. That just gives it some heaviness so that it, it sits upright. And then however full you want it, you're just gonna fill it with some of the polyfill. So I just push it in, push it down with your fingers so it goes all the way down. So your rice is just on the bottom. So fill it for as full as you want. And then you're going to take a piece of embroidery thread. And I kind of like, well, with the red, I used the brown. With the gray, I used a dark gray. Um, you can use any color that you like but I kind of did coordinating colors. Okay, so I did my embroidery thread and you basically want to go to the top of your fill and you just want to, again, weave your needle inside and out exactly the same way you did for the base and pull it through. And I weave it all the way around. And then once I weave it around, I'm gonna tie it tight. I used two strands of embroidery thread. I found that to be sufficient. 
Um, if you want to use more, you can. The more you use, obviously, the thicker the appearance will be. So just weave it in and out of your sock. Pay attention to where it is on the other side so that you aren't going drastically at an angle. But even if you do tend to loop down a little bit or up a little bit, it's fine once you come back around, just try to even it to the line that you started with. All right, once you get around to where you started, you just pull it tight and make sure your fill goes in, push it, just push it in as you pull it tight because you don't want your fill sticking out the top. So just stick it in with your fingers so it's nice and tight, as tight as you can get it. And then again, I loop it around a couple times, pull it tight, and then hold your thread and just knot it off right at the top. Now you'll notice I have a pretty big piece of thread because you're gonna use the same thread is gonna make the lines of the pumpkin. So you want a, a decent sized piece of thread that you'll be able to do this three times. So once you knot it off, then what I do is just go across the top and cut this excess off like so. So you should just have that much left. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your needle and you're gonna push it through the pumpkin top to the other side. Pull it through and go directly around the pumpkin and then go through again. So that's one. You're gonna do this two more times. So go at a angle from the first one. Go around, pushing your needle through the center. And then you're gonna do it a third time. And that'll give you six pieces. Now I push this through one last time. And then what I do is I go around to the bottom, make sure that all of your threads are evenly separated and kind of cross the middle. I pull it as tight as I can. The tighter you get, obviously, the more of a pumpkin it will look like. And then all I do is get a little piece of the fabric underneath, make one knot so that it stays secure. And then I cut this off and then I hand tie it two more times to make sure that it's secure. Now to make your leaves, you just take a piece of scrap felt in any color. I liked the dark gray with this. I used the dark thread, the dark gray. And um, either use a little cookie cutter or if you printed something off of the computer, just trace out the leaf pattern on the felt and cut them out. All right, so you just cut your leaf out and you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a leaf, no leaf is perfect. And leave a little bit of a tab at the bottom because that's what you're gonna glue onto your pumpkin. So the one thing I did not mention is I got a piece of uh, craft wire. It's uh, covered, fabric covered, and I cut it into a piece, a couple inches long, take a pen or a pencil and just hold the wire and wrap it around. And that gives you a cute little 
curly for the top of the pumpkin. So now all we have to do is take our leaf, a piece of twig that I got from the yard, and our piece of wire, and we will hot glue these to the top of our pumpkin. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is glue your leaf. Make sure that your traced side is gonna be down so they don't see any pen marks that you have. You just wanna put a little bit of hot glue on the tab and just glue that right to the center. And then you wanna take your curly piece and again, just put a little bit of hot glue on the end and glue that. And then you wanna take your twig, flat side, put a little glue on that and glue that. And there you have a cute little pumpkin.